And good afternoon and good evening to you from MCM Ministries, Bible LA. I'm Brian Hewitt of, M of uh, Anita and the Man. We thank you for joining us here today as we bring you the loving word of God throughout all the world from Los Angeles, California here at the 11 a.m. hour. And we are going to be speaking of the power of change. We're going to be going into Joshua chapter 1 for uh, our foundation scripture. And we are blessed to be, be here with you in the name of Jesus Christ. So as you grab a clean sheet of notebook paper, as always, we'll be tap dancing through the scriptures. Again, I'm Brian Tudor, Morning Star Communications Network, MCM, MCN Ministries, based right here in Los Angeles, California, speaking on the topic of change as we, both our networks have chimed in. And let's go before the throne of God and, and, and pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your kindness and your... And the, your new mercies, O oh Lord, O oh God. We thank you for the strength of the embrace from the baptism of, of Calvary, baptizing us with the blood. We lift, our, our, we lift up our repentance and our prayers unto you, O oh Lord, as you pour down your new, new mercies upon us every day. We cry unto you that we want to know you ever so more every day, and then pour down upon us the wisdom and discernment. We bring up change unto you, O oh Lord, to bless this message for that we are about to receive and to give unto all and all throughout the world, for the matchless name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. Brothers and sisters, again, we take this cup of wisdom, as I say, and we ask God to refill it, take the sip, feel that beautiful woman wisdom coming inside of you and directing you, commanding your thoughts so God can present, you commanded your works so God can command your thoughts, in Jesus' name. Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. We're speaking of change, the importance of change, and how we are going we are going to be coming into many bridges of change, walking over the river of change into the new life, new task, new obedience of Jesus Christ every day. Joshua chapter one verse nine. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous, do not be frightened, and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. To be strong and courageous. If we are weak in faith, we are disobedient to God. God says to be strong in faith. We must really take a nosedive into some of our lessons that we presented to you. or the, the, All of our videos are available for you over our YouTube network at the Brian Tewitt channel. We have over eight, just under 900 videos overall. We've done over a thousand videos. Program, broadcast for your edification, not for our glory, but for God's glory, for your knowledge to get stronger and stronger every day. You, so you've got your own seminary school available for, available for you, like going through your favorite drive through at 24 hours, seven days a week. God gave you your own drive through seminary school, so here we are. Hebrews 13, verse 8. We all should know this. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Now, Christ God has state is the same. But they are commanding change from us to walk away from that unperfect world that we were born into, away from the yoke of bondage, the yoke of sin. And ask for the blessings of change to come upon us, ask for the blessings of the command to come upon us in Jesus' name to go into this world, to go into this time, to go into this embrace of the loving truth of the magnification of the Lord Jesus Christ. Feel this, O oh Lord. Guide me. Bring me into your awakening right now in Jesus' name. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Deuteronomy 31, verse 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be, do not, do not fear or, or be in dread of them. For it is the Lord your God who, who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. We seem to forget that God is with us all day, every day, in our night, in our sleep, in our day, in our mornings. God doesn't have a time clock for like working eight, nine hours a day because I will be back at four o'clock. <laughs> I'll be back at five, but in the meantime, be good. No. God is with you all the time because God is God. 
God God brings this time into the purpose of, of the everlasting truth of heaven. This embrace gives you the realities that we all have, focusing on our, real, on our real, realities of redemption with God. Because we are redeemed. Focus of the change that God has given you. Focus of the time stamp that God is embracing with you. Feel that moment of the now. Feel that embrace of the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ to you as we are speaking. Of this time, brothers and sisters, of this courageous steps that we are taking of change, James chapter 1, verse 17. Every good gift and every gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, and whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. But we are due for change. We go walking amongst the brethren, those that are still caught up in their own addictions, their own sins, fornications, adultery, idol, worship, idol worshiping. We need to do this for God. We need to have the power to change of the embrace of Jesus Christ for each and every one of us, each and every moment that we have, to feel with us, to go with us, to see the absolute truth coming to us right now. God is the Lord. Feel us. Feel that embrace of you, O oh God, coming into each and every one of us. Let all feel your embrace. Let all feel that, in, that instructions that we have for each and every one of you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Brothers and sisters, we have the power, we have the love, we have this time frame coming to each and every one of us. And the power of the Lord Jesus Christ guides us into that new day, guides us into, the, into that moment. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 51. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. We can have our own opinion and our own expressions. But the love of the Lord Jesus Christ will be a mystery and something misunderstood as long as you stay in your sinful life. Sounds easy. Sounds easy. Malachi 3, verse 6. For the Lord do not, for I, the Lord, do not change. Therefore, you, O children of Israel, are not consumed. But let's be consumed by God's love. Let's feel that embrace of the Lord Jesus Christ coming deep, deeper and deeper and deeper into our love, into our expressions into our time. Dear God, we bring about this change of your truth, the change that we have. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is a gift of God, not a result of works, so th that no one may boast. Ephesians chapter 2, 8 and 9. No one is going to boast of their own glory when they have the glory of God. They will see their own past as like, whoa, that was me. Let us take this great moment that we have right now and bring about all circumstances but leave them in our past. Second Timothy chapter 3, 16 and 17. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for the training in righteousness, that the man of God may be competent, equipped for every good work. Every good work. Do we have this, brothers and sisters? Do we have this right now? Do we have the power to see the changes coming to you? One mind. One judgment of Christ, feeling the absolute truth, feeling the absolute power of God coming to you. Ask, seek, and knock. Ask, seek, and knock. Not. Knock. 
for brothers and sisters. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Come. And through this incredible moment of your, your opportunity of change, come into this embrace of the Lord Jesus Christ standing before you. Open that door of your heart. Let Jesus Christ come into your life and be changed by the power of the Holy Spirit. You will, some of us, like yours truly, will be criticized for changing too much that I don't even know you anymore. Well, that's okay. Your spouses love, know you. God knows you most important. If you have children, your children know you. But it's not about being loved by everybody. It's not about being friends with everybody. It's all about, in today's world, are you rapture ready? Are you fine-tuned from the wheel of experiences that God has presented to you? Are you groomed for the time and the, uh, and the moment right now to feel the absolute truth coming to you? So this is some one scripture that you should never forget. Romans 6, 23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. In Christ Jesus our Lord. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. Oh, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. God is cleansing us. God is lifting you up commanding that you all feel the inheritance of eternity. God is changing you to be equipped for the heavenly blessings. One blessing at a time coming down upon you, upon you, and upon you, and upon you in Jesus' name. You are ready. You are a fighter. Let's fight the fight of good faith. Faith. Let us bring this time into the realities of the now. The now faith. Bringing you into this moment, into this time. The elegance of each and every one of you. The elegance of each and every time today, tonight, at the moment. At the moment, O oh God, we sing to you. At the moment, O oh God, we bring our moments into the everlasting Enlarging the tents of our territories, helping you, asking to help us produce our cause, to show our strength, to give us your readiness to be rapture ready. We turn everything unto you, O God. Take us, love us for yours. Feel us from, take us to the mountaintop and the valleys to strengthen us. Let us be that beacon of light from the mountain that cannot be hid. Let us express the power of change into each and everyone's life. For the power of change is a change of the now. The truth. The truth just set us all free. How does this all come into... How does this all happen, Brother Brian? How... What change must I do? Well, if you're not saved or you want to have your life recommitted with Christ, listen up. This is for you. Romans 10, 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Dear God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Repeat this after me if you can. Dear God, I admit I am a sinner and I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place paying the penalty for my sins. I believe I am willing right now to turn from my sin except Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life. Fill me and take control. 
and to help me become the kind of person you have always wanted me to be. Thank you, Father, for loving me. That's my wife praising him in the background. I am lifting your name, but most important, the angels of heaven are singing your name before the throne of God. Before the throne of God. And that's one way to start a powerful evening, an afternoon, no matter where you are in the world, here in North America, United States, Canada, Mexico, South America, Central America. In Jesus' name. Now, why do we have all these storms, all these earthquakes? So God can fulfill all his prophecies. Prayers to those in the San Diego area that survived 300 small quakes yesterday. Prayers to Central America, I believe it's El Salvador that went through a 7.4 earthquake around 9.30 our time here in the West Coast. Much love and blessings to you, brothers and sisters. We need to have deeper invitations for us to have the clarity of the mind, for us to have the understanding what our new heart is also about. God did some heart surgery on you. He moved away the old heart, we moved away all the old stony edges and placed in a new heart, a new heart of purity, a new heart of love, a new heart of the depth that we share, the depth of God's empty tomb to the depth of that and what went into that tomb and what went out of that tomb for you. That's the depth of God's love for you. And if you just put that inside your heart. Just place it inside your heart. The next invitation is for you to join this ministry as a financial partner. To come into this time right now, share God's endless rhyme the road of eternity from the road of grace to the straight and narrow to heaven's gates and beyond. And the beautiful truth, once you plant your financial seed in the harvest, the scriptures will share that earthquake from you and to you that your harvest is now. If you need to hear this, your return on investment won't come, be happening five or six months from now. It's going to happen now. But it's all how hungry you want this seed to work for you. How hungry you still want to take a nosedive into heaven. A nosedive into having God change you. As you plant your seed into this ministry, the windows of heaven will open up above you and you'll have no room to place any of these blessings coming down upon you in Jesus' name. Again, we are Morningstar Communications Network. Morningstar Communications Network, MCM Ministries. You can make your donation over the bottom left corner of our website at bryanthewitt.com, bryanthewitt.com, or you can click on the contact link and send a hard check payable to us at Morningstar Communication Network, MCM Ministries, and again, get to know us, and we want to know you at bryanthewitt.com. Send us a prayer request. That link is on the upper left corner, as well as um, our, our online store, our new online store, in Jesus' name. Well, we're here brothers and sisters, giving you God's glory, giving you the sharing, sharing of God's wisdom and His truth. And the truth is said in a soul free, spelled out L-O-V-E, love. Come and share what God has for each and every one of us. Titus chapter 3 verse 5. He saved us, not because of His works done by us in righteousness, but according to His own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit. Philippians chapter 4, 6 and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpass all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in, G in Christ Jesus. We cannot be anxious. Let us be cool, calm, and courageous. Jesus saved us. Not because of our works done in righteousness, but, but but according to His own mercy, by the renewal of the Holy Spirit, by the washing of the regeneration and the renewal of the Holy Spirit. 
in Jesus' name. Take the peace of God. Pray through peace. Bring peace through your prayers throughout all the nations of this world. Sing unto us, O God. Sing unto us the glory and the truth. How the truth does set us all free. God help us. God be with us. In Jesus' name. Romans chapter 1. Verse 1. Paul, a servant of, uh, of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised beforehand through his prophets and the Holy Scriptures, concerning his son, who is descended from David according to the flesh, and was declared to be the Son of God and the power according to the Spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead. Jesus Christ, our Lord, through whom we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all nations. All nations, brothers and sisters. All nations love you. All nations want you. All nations shall be about you in the name of Jesus. Coming to us of this time. Coming to us in the renewing of the minds of the hearts. Lord, it's time for change. And I've been preaching with this 20 years, my wife, along the same time frame. We started out different parts of the continent, but hey, God brought us together of his power, of his might, and of his will. Not our will for our, for our selfish ambition, but God's will to bring the truth into the four corners of the world, world traveling through the whispers of God's wind, proclaiming the love of Jesus Christ. Proclaiming the love of Jesus Christ in Jesus' name. Are you with me, brethren? Are you with me? John chapter 1, verse 3. All things are made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Yet, we seem to have those people lusted in the adulterous generation who feel that they can compete with God, that they can challenge God, they, they, that they can call themselves God. But with that type of attitude and calling yourself God, you, you're probably spiritually bankrupt. You have no sense of righteousness, no sense of what God's gifts are truly about. Let us move this into God's love, His truth. His truth does set us what? all free. First John chapter 4, verse 4, Little children, you are from God and, and have overcome them. But he who is in you is greater than he who is in this world. Are you with me? God is greater than anything. God, because God is God. Acquaint thyself with him and be at peace and all good shall come unto thee. Job 22, verse 21. Beautiful truth. I have never looked back. I have never been embarrassed to show my love of Jesus Christ to a stranger, to traveling on the buses, subways, trains, airplanes. My wife, shh, what a blessing. She, she can heal a whole bus in one trip. You know, she's a, a gracious gift to me and to the world from God. And we share this. And we love this. Of the embrace of all truth. The truth does set us all free. The truth does give us his argument of his truth, the argument of coming away from sin and then lifting up the ar argument into the peacefulness and the gentle spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ. Psalms 55, verse 19. God will give air and humble them, he who is enthroned from of old, because they do not change and do not fear God. Woe to those who do not fear God. First Kings chapter 1, verse 1. Let's now King David was old and advanced in years, and though they covered him with clothes, he could not get warm. And as going into the scripture, 
Let the young woman be sought for my lord, the king, and let her wait on the king and be in his service. Let her lie in your arms that my lord, the king, may be warm. So they sought for a beautiful young woman through all the territory of Israel and found Abishad the Shemana and brought her to the king. The young woman was very beautiful. She was service to the king and attended to him, but the king knew her not. The son of Haggad exalted himself, saying, I will be king, and he prepared for himself chariots and horsemen and fifty men to run before him. We cannot get ourselves ahead of God in our fights. If we fight to fight of good faith, God will tell you that he's got this battle. Luke chapter 13, verse 3, Now I tell you, but unless you repent, you will likewise perish. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Take this incredible blessing that God has for you and be a part of it. Take it to God and God shall reward you entirely well. Of the service of the truths, of the truths that we have of his relationship. And to, and to the one who does not work but believes in him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is counted as righteousness. Your, count, your faith is counted as righteousness. The power of the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ is bringing you this instrument of change as we are speaking. This instrument of the absolute truth coming to you now. The instrument of the regeneration of the light of the Lord and that is you. You have the power to change it. Take this Bible which was nothing but a coffee cup holder at one time and to use this Bible as a sword of the Spirit which is a living word of God. Hallelujah! Jesus coming back in his name is faithful and true. We are bringing this beyond the mountaintops. Beyond to what we, where we once were. To focus on the now faith, but God is bringing us above and beyond to any of our dreams. Take. You have the power to change. Do it for Christ, do it for your families, and do it for you in the name of eternity. Let's go before the throne of God and pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for this expression of the now faith that brings us to the straight and narrow from the road of grace. We thank you for the elegance of your language, how you place the articulation of your love deep inside that new heart of ours that you gave us. We sing unto you, O God, we love you. We lift up our repentance and our prayers unto you, O God, as you pour your new mercies upon us. Thank you for this day. Thank you for the strength to cry that we want to know ever so more every day and stronger than we knew you yesterday. And to bring upon us all the blessings of wisdom and discernment upon our lives. In Jesus' name, we take this message. We go forward into this world we go forward to the matchless name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Brothers and sisters, that concludes our broadcast for this morning from the 11 a.m. hour of North in Los Angeles, California. And a good evening to you wherever you are in the world, and good afternoon. We thank you for your time. Until next time, do stay up to date with all of our news and information of our exciting crusades coming to your part of the world at BrianChewitt.com. BrianChewitt.com. Again, on behalf of Nietzsche Hewitt and myself, Brian Hewitt, we thank you for your time. Until next time, we walk by faith and not by sight. Au revoir. Adios. Good day for the people.